48. Al-Majid, the most glorious one, the most honorable. Al-Majid is one of the 99 names of Allah, God, mentioned in Islamic tradition. Al-Majid is derived from the Arabic word majd, which means glory, honor, or greatness. Al-Majid emphasizes Allah's attribute of being glorious, magnificent, and exceedingly noble. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Majid in Arabic, Al-Majidu, meaning the one who is the most glorious, honorable, dignified, noble, and generous. He is the only one deserving all praise and honor because he is all glorious. From the root mim jim dal, mim jim dal, which has the following classical Arabic connotations. To be glorious, dignified, majestic, noble, honorable, to be lauded, exalted, sublime, to be liberal, bountiful, and or exceedingly generous. His excellence is unparalleled as it does not resemble anything else, it is unique and alone. To be all-glorious is not a single standalone attribute but the quality of perfection of several attributes together, similar to the name Al-Jalil, the Majestic One. Imam Al-Ghazali writes, Al-Majid the All-Glorious is one who is noble in essence, beautiful in actions, and bountiful in gifts and in favors. In Ahmad Zaruk's book The Loftiest Goal in Elucidating Allah's Most Beautiful Names, he writes, Al-Majid comes from Al-Majd, namely. The furthermost limit of nobility which allows for no additional increase of such quality beyond it, since it is complete in itself and outwardly manifest. In the Quran, it refers to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Al-Majid once, and it is beautifully paired with the name Al-Hamid. The praiseworthy. After all, the one worthy of praise should be the one whose essence is excellence and nobility. They said, Are you amazed at the decree of Allah? May the mercy of Allah and his blessings be upon you, people of the house. Indeed, he is praiseworthy and honorable. Quran 1173. Honorable Owner of the Throne, Quran 85:15. Now, as the word Majid is used to describe both the Quran and the Throne as glorious, it has been perfected and should be viewed with high status and ranking. The Quran is a glorious book since it serves as guidance for all of humanity, of His Throne, it is said, His Throne extends over the heavens and the earth, Quran 2-255. Kaf, by the Honored Quran, Quran 50-1 Ibn Abi Layla reported, The Messenger of Allah came to us and we said, We have learned how to invoke peace upon you. Kindly tell us, how we should bless you. He, the Holy Prophet, said, Say, O Allah, bless Muhammad and his family as thou didst bless the family of Ibrahim. Verily thou art, Hamidun, Hamid, praiseworthy and, Majidun, Majid, glorious, O Allah. The believer benefits in knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-Majid in two ways, the first is in worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds all honor and glory, our success is through Allah, seek his pleasure by sincere and honest devotion to him. When we recite Darud Ibrahim in our Salah, we call on the names Al-Hamid and Al-Majid. He is the one worthy of praise because of the name Al-Majid, i.e., the perfection of all attributes. al Sali Allah Muhammadan wa Allah Ali Muhammadan, Kama Salida Allah Ibrahima wa Allah Ali Ibrahima in Ekahamada Majid. Allah Mubarak Allah Muhammadan wa Allah Ali Muhammadan Kama Barakta Allah Ibrahima wa Allah Ali Ibrahima Inaka Hamida Majid. 
The second way a believer benefits from learning about Al-Majid is by understanding that we should work on perfecting our attributes to raise our rank and increase our essence. To be a well-rounded Muslim means to work on our piety, devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, studiousness, affection, kindness, generosity, etc. And to recoil from hypocrisy, falsehoods, and arrogance. When contemplating the name Al-Majid in light of Tafsir, one might reflect on its implications in terms of recognizing Allah's limitless greatness and acknowledging His sovereignty over all creation. It encourages believers to approach their worship and relationship with Allah with awe, reverence, and humility.